Hi, I'm Love Garces, and this is Love Garces EDU. I'm here to help you with some simple color theory basics. Let's get you to learn this. Let's roll. This is a color wheel, so memorize this deal. It's divided into 12 major colors on the pinwheel. I will present this for primary, secondary, and tertiary appear. Primary colors. Primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. They cannot be formed by other colors, it is said. From the three primaries, all colors stem. You cannot make the rest of the colors without them. Most colors can be made by a combination of the three. Most traditional color theorists would agree. Mix them up or mix them down. You will achieve a muddy brown. Secondary colors are orange, violet, and green. Mixing equal primary proportions will give you hues in between. Adjacent yellow and red will give you orange. Green is a product of yellow and blue. When you think secondary, think mixing primaries by two. Tertiary. Tertiary intermediate colors. Think one plus two equals three. Primary and secondary equals tertiary, third level or three. Tertiary colors are an equal combo of primary and secondary parts. Usually named after the primary and secondary names in the color theory arts. Examples are red purple, orange yellow, or even green blue. Tertiaries are named after a combo of the two. Chroma. Chroma is how intense the color seems to be. Is it a pale pastel blue? Or is it like a lemon yellow honeybee hue? I want you to know what to do when they ask you to name a hue. Hue is the name of a color and location on the color spectrum or a wavelength formation. Purple, red, orange, yellow, or blue are examples to say when naming a hue. Saturation. Saturation is the chroma, purity, or intensity of a color. Desaturated colors will appear duller. Is it dark or light? Black is darker in value. More luminous is white. Value. Value is the color's darkness or its lightness. It is the state of being dark or the opposite, its brightness. Value means luminosity. Prismatic colors are usually at their highest saturation. No browns, blacks, or whites are used in their formation. They are the colors seen as light goes through a prism, kind of like a color hue purism. Muted colors. Muted colors are in between prismatic colors and chromatic grays. They are softer than prismatic, but still have an identifiable display. Their identity is clear as to the root of their hue. Muted colors are a combination of the two. Shade. A shade occurs when you mix a color with black. Remember, shade is like a shadow. Add blackness to a color to keep you on track. Tint. 
A tint occurs when you mix color with white. As it progresses, you can still see the color with your eyesight. This example shows the more tint it has, the more the base color becomes light. Tone. A tone occurs when you mix a color with gray. If prismatic is bright and sunny colors, a tone will be more of a cloudy overcast day. Monochromatic color. Monochromatic color, as in mono, is a one color color scheme. White or black can be used to keep the color theme. Color temperature. Color temperature can be thought of like fire and ice. Warm colors are like a sunset slice. Cool colors are purples, blues, and blue-greens, like a refreshing ocean water scene. Warm colors are energetic and approach the viewer, while cool colors spatially recede. Warm colors louder, cooler passive. Colored theorists generally concede. Chromatic grays. Chromatic grays have discernible hue and temperature. The condition of adding white in a proportionate mixture. It gives the chromatic grays subtle but detectable con temperature. Achromatic grays. Achromatic grays, think of old school movies of yesterday. No colors, no reds, no yellows, no blues. No hue or saturation, only values. Only a combo of black, white, and gray. Like an eight ball, koala, or zebra display. Complementary colors. Complementary colors are opposites on the color wheel. Don't confuse complementary with an eye. It refers to praise and how it makes you feel. Complementary with an E refers to visual color theory zeal, like orange and blue, yellow and purple, or the famous Christmas red and green appeal. Analogous colors. Analogous colors are any three neighbors on the color wheel. A cool example is like violet, blue, and then teal. Think primary and secondary and what's in between. A warm example is yellow-orange, then yellow, followed by yellow-green. Split complementary color. Split complementary color is two adjacent complementary colors with a base. A visual is mapped across the color wheel for you just in case. Triadic colors. Triadic colors are equidistant on the color wheel. Think of a triangle. Tri meaning three, and its angles would be ideal. Tetradic colors. For tetradic colors, please think of a square. A color wheel on the floor touched by the four legs of a chair. The colors are equidistant on the color wheel. They use warm and cool temperature colors for complementary balance and appeal. 
So that's your brief introduction to traditional color theory. Repeat the parts of the poems so studying won't be so dreary. In this life, there are so many things to know. Continue to educate yourself and grow. It's okay to not remember. Our brains get bombarded and discard. Sometimes it's rather easy. Sometimes it's quite hard. Just remember, it's part of the ebb and flow. Let me know your pleasant thoughts in the comments down below. Be safe, happier studying, and God's blessings.